please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In Python, the counter class from the collections module is a powerful tool for counting occurrences of elements in a collection, such as a list or a string. However, Sometimes you may encounter situations where you need to keep track of occurrences using nested counters, essentially creating a counter within a counter. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to achieve this using the counter class and provide code examples to illustrate the concept. The counter class is part of the collections module and provides a convenient way to count the occurrences of elements in an iterable. It is a subclass of the dict class and takes an iterable as input, creating a dictionary-like object where elements are keys and their counts are values. Here's a basic example of using a counter. Now, let's explore how to use a counter within a counter. This is useful when dealing with nested structures or when you want to count occurrences based on multiple criteria. In this example, we've created a counter with a tuple of category, item, as the key. The resulting counter keeps track of occurrences based on both the category and the item. To access counts in a nested counter, you can use the same indexing syntax as with a regular counter. In this tutorial, we explored how to use a counter within a counter in Python. This technique is valuable when dealing with nested data structures or when you need to count occurrences based on multiple criteria. The counter class from the collections module provides a flexible and efficient way to handle such scenarios. Feel free to experiment with different data sets and nested structures to further enhance your understanding of using counters within counters in Python. ChatGPT